Hi, welcome back to the VSDC channel. In today's video, we will continue our series on optimizing video editing and eliminating lags. If you are using version 6.4.2 or an earlier one, we highly recommend watching the first video in this series. It focuses on improving video preview quality. You can find the link to it in the description box and in the upper right corner. If you are using version 6.4.5 or later, up to the latest release 8.2. We suggest watching the second video. This video specifically addresses video preview lagging. You can find the link to it in the description box and in the upper right corner as well. For those of you who have already updated to version 8.2, this video is tailored to your needs. We will discuss the exciting new feature of proxy file support, which significantly enhances the software performance when editing high-resolution files. So let's dive into the world of proxy files and discover how they can revolutionize your video editing experience. Let's start by explaining what proxy files are. Proxy files are lower resolution versions of your original video files. They are created to make editing smoother, especially when working with high resolution footage. Using proxy files helps reduce the strain on your computer, which can cause lagging and playback issues. Despite being lower in quality, these files maintain the same timing and synchronization as the original, ensuring a seamless editing experience, even with 4K files on less powerful computers. Let's explore how to work with proxy files in the new version of VSDC. When starting a project, you will notice a new field called Proxy Path. It indicates the storage location for proxy media files added to the project. You can easily change this path by clicking the three dots button and selecting a different folder. To modify the path during editing, follow these steps. Click on the project name in the Projects Explorer, go to the Properties window, look for the Proxy Media Path option. By accessing this option, you can easily modify the path according to your needs. To create proxy files in VSDC, follow these steps. Open the Resources window, Locate the desired file there. Right-click on the file and choose the Generate Proxy Media option. Pay attention to the Relink Proxy Media option below. This feature allows you to connect an existing proxy file to the specific media without the need to generate it again. It is useful if you've already created a proxy for the file in another project. Once the proxy file is created, it will appear immediately in the Preview area. The proxy button below the window will activate automatically. You can easily switch between displaying the proxy file and the original media file by clicking on this button. By default, the editor creates 720 pixels proxy files that maintain the quality of your original video during export. These proxy files are optimized to work seamlessly with your computer's processor or graphics card. If you encounter any lagging issues, or if you want to customize the proxy settings to better suit your needs, the next section of this video will provide detailed instructions and recommendations. Let's go to the Options menu located in the upper right corner and find the new parameter called Proxy Options. Here you will find all the settings will go through one by one. For the preview, you can choose from seven different quality options, ranging from original quality to 144 pixels. Lower quality helps reduce potential lags, but in most cases, 720 pixels is sufficient for your projects. When exporting, you have the option to use proxies to quickly share files for review when the highest resolution of the file is not necessary. There are five quality options available for you to choose from. If you noticed angular or pixelated images, you can select from five interpolation methods in the proxy resize mode. Try different methods to improve the visual quality. In the Hardware Decoder Type section, you can select the type of hardware decoder. By default, the editor utilizes your graphics card for proxy creation. To check which card is being used, navigate to the Acceleration options. The Use Video Card for HW Processing checkbox will indicate the card in use. Whether the checkbox is enabled or disabled, the software will still utilize the graphics card for proxy processing. In the Proxy Media format, you can choose the codec for creating proxy video files. The options include H.264, H.265 and DNxHR. 
DNXHR codecs offer different quality profiles, while the selection of H.264 and H.265 codecs depends on the graphics card chosen in the acceleration options. Although the H.264 and H.265 codecs may result in slightly larger file sizes, they provide faster processing on modern hardware. Take your time to explore and adjust these settings according to your preferences and the specific requirements of your projects. Once you have made the desired changes, click OK button to apply the settings. To see the results in action, you need to generate the proxy media once again in the Resources window. It is important to note that there is no one-size-fits-all solution that works perfectly for every PC. If you continue to experience lags or encounter other issues, we recommend reaching out to our support team. Please provide them with detailed information about your PC specifications, project settings and a clear description of the problem that you are facing. Our dedicated support team is here to assist you and help you find a solution that suits your needs. We understand the significance of a seamless editing experience and we are committed to ensuring that you achieve optimal performance with VSDC. To summarize, let's answer a common question you might have. Do proxy files take up space on your PC? And should you clean up the folder containing them? The answer is yes. Proxy files do occupy storage space on your PC, just like any other files. If you accumulate a large number of proxy files, they can consume a significant amount of storage. Therefore, we recommend to periodically clean up the folder containing proxy files once you have finished your project or no longer need them. We value your feedback and would appreciate hearing from you. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more valuable tips and tutorials in the future. See you soon!